Zamat Hakimi talking to you from Dubai, from the area Al Satwa. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day and also most important to you, you are hungry. Today I'm talking you to the bakery in Al Satwa. It's a very old bakery called Al Asrar Bakery. They cook a great uh, porata, they cook a great bread out of the tandoor. And what's a porata? Porata is a stuff a bread with a cheese with a potato with the eggs and also with the herbs and later on i'm taking you to the great place to eat a falafel in the al hanedi in the board dubai so let's do it together and get ready for it way to meet Said in Al Asrar Bakery in Al Satwa. The bakery is 40 years old and run by Pakistani and Afghan bakers. Alright, here are the precious things and we're going to try them together. Let's see what's in them. So the first one, I think, is the, ooh, the cheese one. 
look how creamy and hot Ooh, it's so hot really love it and said he just done amazing work just to prepare those for us so let's try one of them uh, I just hate the plastic plastics everywhere here so here we go let's do it Mm, mm, mm. So hot, so hot, and so good too. Really love it. Creamy, fresh, hot, and as, as you see, the cheese is just melted inside. Mm. Thank you, Sayy. Thank you, everyone there at Alasra Bakery. So the next one we're gonna go for Zatar. Zatar is a uh, herbs. Uh, is mixed with uh, sesame seeds and also mixed with olive oil and they stuff it in okay. and they cook it in the tandoor so that's what's special about it and that's why we're coming for to show you so let's try the zata mm, lovely let's make it special it's hot it's soft it's fresh and also all the sesame seeds just crunching, crunching in your, in your mouth, which is good. I do too. Love it. It's a good one. Three watermelon juice, uh, three chai carrots. Medium. Huh? Thank you so much. So here we are. We are in Jumeira, one of the rich area of uh, Dubai so I was driving and just found this place so this place is very well known for their El Gamat it's a local Emirati dessert well Gamat it's a uh, like a rounded uh, donuts it's mixed with a date sort of and I'm just looking forward to uh, taste them I just had a chat with the uh, people working there Masood and he's just uh, gonna cook it for us gonna show show us how it's cooked and how it's served and how it's ate let's do that and you've been waiting here for 10 years, yeah, 10 years. really <laughs> that's a long time to work in one place so they serve uh, uh, Emirati food uh, the, the, the yeah, food I know is Emirati food Makbuz to judge the Emirati, isn't it? Yeah, it's Makbuz. Very unable to judge how the Arabi, how Salon is the judge, then came out all sorts of... Uh, yeah, traditional food. Also. Traditional food. Well, well yeah. So how, how did you go to uh, traditional Arabic food? I, I, I teach no another guy. Another guy teach you? Yeah, okay. yeah. That's, that's great.
Masrur. Yeah, just, just finish now. Why are you doing that, Masrur? Because this one need noise too much try. And I'm afraid it's crispy. Ah, uh, crispy it up. Because you make maybe more fry, it's coming crispy more. Okay. Yeah. I do like this. Dip syrup. Dip syrup? Yeah, dip syrup. Which is date syrup? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So now they put the date syrup in the top. Yeah. Look great. Look at that. Mmm. Adding his sesame seeds yeah. on the top, just extra flavor. Wonderful. Well, look at that. How good is that? Thank you so much, Masrur, and thank you so much, everyone. How wonderful is this? That's a local Emirati desert. It's called El Gamat. So, you see, it's a crunchy. I don't know if you hear the crunch or not, but it just, I'm just gonna eat one of them and just taste. There's a date syrup in the top, mixed with the sesame seeds, and really love it. Mm. soft inside, something different, something local, and also cheap to have in the middle of the rich area of Jumeirah, which is good. Thank you so much, Masoud. I really want to give you a hug, Masoud, for this. Seriously, it's so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here we are again, I'm talking to you from the Port Dubai, next to the cafeteria, Bet El Hinedi, one of the best places making a fresh falafel, and they cook their fresh bread too, which is that's wonderful. So I'm going to show you how the chef prepared the falafel, and we're just going to eat it, looking forward to it. Let's do that.
we just have the falafel ready. We saw the chef, he just cooked it uh, for us uh, fresh and it's very hot. So just to let you know the falafel is very different from one country to another country. So what's different about this falafel uh, is the is only a chickpeas uh, being used uh, in it. So some countries like Egypt, they uh, use broad beans and chickpeas, but this one is only chickpeas. As you see inside the falafel, it like, like, looks like a small packet filled up with a fresh hot falafel, uh, some pickles, some fresh lettuce, tomato, and also you get in the side uh, a, a pickle. All right, let's try. They say here Bismillah and also Ben Abati. Oh man. That's so fresh. So good. Refreshing, hot, delicious. And also the tahini make it very special. Love it. We just wrapping up uh, for today i had a wonderful day it was so good so good to have that parata from say the cheese and zahtar it was amazing how how good that man is and also having that falafel is being cooked freshly in the Bordubai Fahid cafeteria and I respect any restaurant they just cook their uh, bread freshly and pre uh, present it to the customer that was exceptional I love it I love it I love it and also having that El Gemat the local des uh, Emirati dessert uh, having it with a uh, date sorrow that was amazing that was ma uh, that made my day uh, and also I'm so happy to have it uh, so that was a uh, tip of the iceberg uh, please uh, join us for more uh, videos to come so subscribe hit that bell so you get the uh, latest from us so we're just gonna uh, go all, all around and showing you the food from all culture get out and about and explore the food from all around the world